For the moment, we are turning to Saudi Arabia, a country that for years has been known for its ultra-conservative nature. Women here had very few rights and freedoms. But the kingdom is now opening up. Women can drive at long last. They can travel alone. And now they can even play football. Saudi Arabia has launched its very first women's football league. The federation calls it an important moment for the sport. It is indeed very significant. But will it bring real change for the women in the kingdom? Here's a report. The House of Saud. It is a name synonymous to Saudi Arabia. The royal family makes rules for the desert kingdom. For years, women here have lived under strict rules. Rules dictated by the old god. But then came Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The de facto ruler had a vision, a mission to convince the world that the ultra-conservative kingdom was on a new path. Women were suddenly allowed to drive. They could attend sporting events, travel without a man's permission and even live alone. A thought that was unimaginable a few years ago. Now, Riyadh has launched a new football league. The first edition of a women's league in the kingdom. It is a move to support women's football. Part of a program set up by the Saudi Arabia Football Federation, the new league will be played in two phases. 16 teams playing in three of its biggest cities, those who qualify play in a knockout competition. One that will be held in the Red Sea city of Jeddah. But not just football. Women here are making strides in various sports like cycling and shooting. For years, Samar Rabini thought it was impossible to cycle on the streets of Saudi Arabia. Things have changed. There are still some glares and bewilderment, but ignoring them is easier now. صراحة قبل 2017 الوضع كان جدا صعب يعني بسبب يعني عدم تقبل المجتمع للرياضة النسائية بشكل عام وخاصة رياضة ممارسة ركوب الدراجات الهوائية كان يعني صراحة غير مقبولة المجتمع كان غير قابل الوضع كان مونا الكوريس has had a similar experience. Five years ago she turned her passion into her profession. The 36 year old now teaches shooting in Riyadh. But this is not without its own set of problems. Saudi Arabia may have new rights for women, but when it comes to mindsets, the divide remains. It is difficult to gauge how Saudis view these changes. The reforms have made international headlines, but Saudi Arabia has a long way to go. Women still need the permission of a male guardian to marry, start businesses or even leave prison. Men continue to have the grip on power here. There are no women in King Salman's cabinet, no women in senior advisory roles. The Crown Prince's 2030 vision is that of a new Saudi Arabia, one that is economically diverse and more tolerant. Riyadh wants to diversify its economy away from oil and attract more investors and tourists. But a real image makeover will take a lot more. It will need the changing of mindsets a reform of the old guard. So while winds of change may be blowing here, as the dust settles, will it leave behind any real reforms? We are a report, we on World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.